Da 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 da. Hello, everybody. This is Seismic Panda, and today we are going to be looking at my second world. The second world isn't really <laughs> um, that big of an improvement over the first one. You still don't have much to write home about, but however small, there are some improvements, and I wanted to show them to you. First of all, I appropriated one of the houses of the villagers to serve as my initial quote-unquote dirt shack. I have a far better looking tree farm now, courtesy of Suzuma Boyd. I have a windmill that looks like a windmill. Well, kinda. I have an underground working area that I tried to make inconspicuous, but due to some mechanical restraints I had to bring up to the surface. Inside the underground lab, I have an enchanting table, a pretty dandy slime farm, Whee! I have my entrances to the tree farm, a sugarcane farm, and oops, <laughs> and a hemp farm, a modular wolf dung producing factory, courtesy of Sergeant Slate. A strip mine, a nether portal, and a concentrated better than wolves working area. As you can see, none of this is automated. Um, everything runs manually. Like, I have to manually put in the nether rack into the millstone, I have to manually collect them from this hopper, I have to manually insert and collect soul urns, I have to manually um, break up the pottery after I've made them, I have to manually cook up the pottery after I've baked them, I have to manually work the hibachis and bellows, um, yeah. All this manual work and running around from place to place to place, I don't like it. I wanted to make a streamlined, automated, you know, cool contraption thing where if I just chuck in netherrack in the millstone, it will automatically get filtered, automatically create solarns for me, automatically do everything, rah, rah, rah. Um, Yes, so I can be a lazy panda and go out adventuring all day. So I coerced McRonnie, or rather, I requested, nicely requested, and he graciously complied to making a tutorial on his automated um, nether rack grinding soul urn making uh, contraption and pottery making and firing at the kiln. I forget if that was all one machine or two separate ones, but anyway, it was awesome. And he made some video tutorials, but I really kind of haven't quite gotten around to making them, so I will have to eventually and show it off um, to him. Hmm, what else do I have to show you? I have a surface zombie spawner where I can grind them to collect loots and XP. And over here... Ta-da! I have a castle castle. Um, I'm quite proud of this front part. It turned out quite well. Uh, it looks pretty, you know, ominous and looming and cool and all that. And eventually when um, Godimus, the BF, builds his looming, dark, obsidian wizard tower over on this side, it'll add to the sinister feeling of the place. Now, I just told you that I'm pretty happy with the front part. That's because I don't know what the heck to do with the back side. Mm. The dimensions are kind of weird. I didn't really think this through before I built it. And so, um, the great hall portion of this building will kind of be elongated to the side. Um, I don't know if I want to portion out rooms. I might cut off the great hall over here and use this area as a hibachi cooking um, 
kind of deal because on this side I have a blacksmithy and on this side I have a small cow slash pig farm so it would naturally make sense to have um, some hibachis running over here to cook up the pork chops, the steaks, and the leather. The plan is to hollow out the entire mountain under the castle and uh, create my cavernous working factory uh, better than wolf's factory underneath, but it's a daunting task and I've not had the motivation to actually uh, proceed with it, so we'll see. If I do choose to play this world um, as my let's play and start filming it, then that might serve as the motivator to actually go around, go about doing it. And to continue with the tour, over yonder is my castle, and just to the north of it, in the marshlands, I found the entrance to a stronghold. It was just an air bubble that I saw light seeping through. Uh, decided to visit it, and over here, X marks the spot for the end portal. I haven't really done anything with it yet, um, but it's there for when I need it. Just to the southwest of the village is a ravine with an open abandoned mineshaft. In the abandoned mineshaft, I have a skeleton thing that gives me bones and good stuffs. Yes. In the abandoned mineshaft, way down near the bedrock level, there is a skeleton spawner. And this is where the skeletons go up the chute and fall down the chute. <laughs> After I built the zombie farm, I didn't have any use for this as a um, XP grinder anymore. So I just lowered the entire thing by one block and had the skeletons just drop to their death. But as you can see, I haven't implemented a hopper there yet. I have a modular minecart station, the redstone design courtesy of Armitage. Um, it will eventually take me to places yet unknown, but right now I only have one, <laughs> one line that goes to the abandoned mine shaft that I just showed you. Now there were, are two modular minecart stations that I found um, on YouTube. One, this one, Armitage's, and another one by the Zizuma Void. The pros of this is that it's very compact. It's only one column per destination. But the downside is, in the back, you have to do some um, up and down redstone wiring, as you know, you'd expect, because you only have, um, it, you don't want them to cross over to each other and uh, mess up whichever destination you're going to. So I found that to be a little difficult to um, work properly, particularly since even though I enjoy redstone, I'm not very good at it. Um, Zuma Voids, the only downside to his is that it's a little more bulkier. Um, it's two columns per destination instead of one. But um, the redstone, I think, is a little easier to work with, especially if you're a noob like me. So I think if I ever build another modular minecart station, I will go with Zuzuma Voids. Other than the nether, where I have, you know, just a regular blaze spawning... I was going to say blaze spawner again, <laughs> but a blaze farm. Um, there's really nothing else I think that I need to show in this world. <sighs> Let me tell you, the cave system under that forest was so extensive, I spent days trying to light it all up. Now, I don't know why I'm so obsessed with lighting up caves, but I just cannot bear the thought of having unlit caves beneath me. So, yeah, that was it, that was the most extensive cave system that I had ever seen. Um, in I, I really enjoy caving, um, don't get me wrong, but it got to the point where it was like, gosh, just, you know, 
there's more empty space in caves than there is in stone or you know any other block material <laughs> so yeah that's that before I go I wanted to talk about a couple more things now I get a lot of inspiration for building from just the natural environment like I see cliffs I see waterfalls, I see big rivers and lakes, and I get images of things I want to build, although I've never really gone around to building them. I really like those big hills. Over here, um, th there's a pretty, a very pretty area. Oh, right here. Like this, for example, it's like a natural archway above this water, and you have water flowing down. Here it's kind of like an enclosed bay area and in my mind I want to build like a sphere, an eco globe or something like that inside of this kind of floating up on top. Maybe have the eye level right here and then underneath in the bottom part of the globe you'll have water and octopuses swimming around while on top you have trees and all that. But yeah, just playing alone, I never got motivated enough to do it. Um, it's just something that I've been daydreaming about. You see this cavernous area here, and I think of um, amp ant amphitheaters? Is that what it's called? Like Roman um, theaters where like this would be a natural stage with all of this helping out with the acoustics to really send out the sound that way and you'd have um, benches and decks over here for people to sit around and picnic and watch whatever show is going on there. I have these grand grand ideas in my head but the execution my friends is never easy. I still haven't decided if I want to continue playing in this world or start a new one or maybe re cycle the seed for this one or the one before to um, you know just to have a fresh start but um, if you have any ideas and suggestions do tell see ya <laughs>